If you know that sales have grown by a certain percent and are now at currently at a particular number, how do we go about finding where we started at? Well, we're going to use the same percentage formula that we've been using for change in percent, which is the percent change is equal to the end value minus the start value divided by the start value, because we're always comparing this to where we began. So let's fill in the numbers that we know. Again, we need to put our percent in terms of a decimal form. We know where we've ended. What we need to know is where we've started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call where we've started x. Now what I need to do is solve for x. The first thing I need to do is get rid of the fraction on the right-hand side of the equation. So to do that, I'm going to multiply the right-hand side by x over 1. Because I've, if I multiply the right-hand side by x over 1, I know that the x in the numerator and the x in the denominator will divide out to 1. However, if I multiply the right-hand side by x, I need to multiply the left-hand side by x. So let's go ahead and do that. Those two divide to 1, and this is what I'm left with. Well, I now need to get all the unknowns on the same side of the equation. So I have x's on the left and the right. What I want to do is move all the x's to the left-hand side. To do that, I'm going to add plus x to both sides. Because if I have negative x on the right-hand side, if I add a positive x, then that goes to 0. So the right-hand side of this is simply 179. My left-hand side looks like that. What I'm going to do now is factor out that x. When I divide out an x out of 0 0.2095, I get 0 0.2095. When I divide an x out of x, well, x divided by x is simply equal to 1. Now I'll go ahead and add. And now what I need to do is divide both sides by 1.2095 to get x completely by itself. And when I do that, I get that x is equal to 147.995, or rounded to the nearest whole number, this is simply 148 million dollars.